Hi, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry. From engineering to operations to emergency response, I don't claim to know everything there is in nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Today we're going to be looking at a story written by Andy Weir called The Egg, and specifically Kurtz Gazat's animation they did to support it. I've gotten several requests on this already. I've heard it's some fascinating, otherworldly something or other, but let's check it out. You were on your way home when you died. It oh. was a car accident. Nothing particularly remarkable, but... F well, we're off to a good start here. <laughs> ...nonetheless. It was a painless death. The medics... Then again, the main character died in the first couple episodes of Dragon Ball Z, so we'll see how this turns out. ...tried their best to save you, but to no avail. Your body was so utterly shattered, you were better off, trust me. And that's when you met me. What happened? Where am I? You died, I said, matter-of-factly. No point in mincing words. There was... There was a truck, and it was skidding. Yes. I... That is cool. Such a cool animation. I mean, interesting depiction of the afterlife. I died. Yes. But don't feel bad about it. Everyone dies. You looked around. There was nothingness. Just you and me. What is this place? Is this the afterlife? More or less. Are you God? Yes, I'm God. My kid. Oh. My wife. What about them? Will they be all right? That's what I like to see, I said. You just died and your main concern is for your family. That's good stuff right there. You looked at me with fascination. To you... Love that you can see the cosmos in this god character. I didn't look like god. I just looked like some man, or possibly a woman. Some <laughs> vague authority figure, maybe. Don't worry, I said. They'll be fine. Your kids will remember you as perfect in every way. They didn't have time to grow contemptuous of you. Wow. That's, uh, hmm. Wife will cry on the outside, but will be secretly relieved. Dude. Okay. To be fair, your marriage was falling apart. If it's any consolation, she'll feel very guilty for feeling relieved. Oh. So what happens now? Do I go to heaven? Or hell or something? That's that that'd be interesting if you get like a after you go you get a debriefing on how your your family is coping with it. That's uh that's interesting. Neither. You'll be reincarnated. Ah. Okay. So the Hindus were right. All religions are right in their own way. Walk with hmm. me. You followed along as we strode through the void. Where are we going? Nowhere in particular. That is a beautiful depiction of the void. I, I like it. I, a lot of people picture death or um, nothingness as scary, but it's there's an odd comforting feeling, and of course with a with a guide to go with you. It's just nice to walk while we talk. So, what's the point then? When I get reborn, I'll just be a blank slate, right? A baby. So. All my experiences and everything, everything I did in this life, won't matter. Not so. You have <laughs> within you all the knowledge and experiences of all your past lives. You just don't remember them right now. I stopped walking and took you by the shoulders. Your soul is more magnificent, beautiful and gigantic than you can possibly imagine. A human mind can only contain a tiny fraction of what you are. It's like sticking your finger in a glass of water. 
to see if it's hot or cold. You put a tiny part of yourself into the vessel, and when you bring it back out, you've gained all the experiences it had. You've been this is fascinating. Human for the last 48 years, so you haven't stretched out yet and felt the rest of your immense consciousness. If we hung out here for long enough, you'd start remembering everything. But there's no point to doing that. So consciousness extends beyond uh, beyond the body. Cool. Between each life. How many times have I been reincarnated then? Oh, lots. Lots and lots. And into lots <laughs> of different lives. This time around, you'll be a Chinese peasant girl in 540 AD. Wait. As I'm sure a lot of people were. What? You're sending me back in time? Well, I guess technically. Time as you know it only exists in your universe. Things are different where I come from. <laughs> where... where you come from? Oh, sure. I come from somewhere, somewhere else. And there are others like me. Must be some type of higher order dimension capable of influencing or even creating an entire universe. That's... that's cool. I know you'll want to know what it's like there, but honestly, you wouldn't understand. Oh, you yep. said. Trying to explain, you know, 12 dimensions or however many to a three or four dimensional being is probably going to be challenging. A little let down. But wait, if I get reincarnated to other... I don't know that it's 12, I'm just throwing a number out there. ...cases in time, I could have interacted with myself at some point. Sure, happens all the time. And with both lives only aware of their own lifespan, you don't even know it's happening. So, what's the point of it all? I looked you in the eye. The meaning of life, the reason I made this whole universe, is for you, for you to mature. You mean mankind? You want us to mature? The universe is the egg. Huh. No, just you. I made this whole universe for you. With each new life, you grow and mature and become a larger and greater intellect. Just me? What about everyone else? There is no one else. In this universe, there's just you and me. You stared blankly at me. But all the people on Earth, all you, different incarnations of you, Wow, so you were every, so we're at, so the population's 8 billion now, and there were, I don't know, some 150, 200 billion people that have ever lived before, and this will include everyone in the future, too, which I actually think Kurtz Kazat did another video on this, but you're going to be on the order of quadrillions, quintillions, sextillions of lives, and each one with a probably a radically different lifespan. That's... that's cool. Wait, I'm... everyone. Now you're getting it. <laughs> I'm every human being who ever lived. Or who will ever live, yes. I'm Abraham Lincoln. And you're John Wilkes Booth, too. I'm Hitler, you said, appalled. And you're the millions he killed. I'm Jesus. And you're everyone who followed him. You fell silent. Taking in all of life's experiences from every angle and every person, good or bad, maybe. Maybe there isn't a good or bad. Just is. Every time you victimize someone, you were victimizing yourself. Every act of kindness you've done, you've done to yourself. Every happy and sad moment ever experienced by any human was or will be experienced by you. And there's the Aesop right there. Okay. You thought for a long time. Why? Why do all this? Because someday you will become like me. Because that's what you are. You're one of my kind. You're my <laughs> child. Wow, you said incredulous. You mean... He created the universe, yep, and that's... So it's all for developing of one super 
consciousness of humanity, which is this one person, but right now this person is only aware of their one being that just was after they died. Okay. I'm a god? No, not yet. You're a fetus. You're still growing. Once you've lived every human life throughout all time, you will have grown enough to be born. So the whole universe, it's just... Might take a Google years or something like that, but hey, if you have all of time that you can create entire universes, that's, that's really not that long in the grand scheme of things. Because, like you said, time as a concept was invented by humanity. An egg, I answered. Now it's time for you to move on to your next life. And I sent you on your way. <laughs> that is heavy, but at the same time, comforting and uplifting of a story. What do you guys think of that? Do you think we're we're all the same person? I am you, you are me. You guys are also nuclear engineers too, by the way, if that's true. <laughs> hey, if you think we are, hey, go ahead and join me or join you, as they say, by liking, commenting, and subscribing for a clean nuclear energy future. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.